And I came across a story here that's it's in the UK, and uh, this guy's plate was recalled because it's offensive. And I'm asking myself, what could be offensive about this? So I throw it up into the crowd. Uh, the plate is the letters B O, the number 11, so B O 11 dash or space L U X. B O 11 space L U X. He's been told to remove the, the uh, plates. But the man came from their driver, their, their version of the uh, uh, motor vehicle. So, uh, yeah. The British government organization which sorts out driving licenses and sells personalized numbered plates. Now, Clark is 49, bought the plate six weeks earlier from the same. But in the back of the range, Rover, before he received a letter informing him it was causing offense. The car owner so far has refused to carry out the request to remove it according to uh, the mirror of the paper. He said, it's my plate, and I'm not taking it off. They're threatening to criminalize me. The government agency that put the plate on their own website, I saw it there. I thought it'd be fun to put it on my new car. Everyone laughs when they see it. They sent me a normal plate to put on, but I sent it back. They've still got similar plates on the site. Got a few calls coming in. Someone wants to know why you take. Well, a why is it funny from his perspective or his friend's perspective? And okay, Wanda, I haven't thought of that. I guess as a pronunciation, yes, Wanda. What do you think it is? It's bollocks. Bollocks. Yeah. E O eleven. Yeah, I guess it is. And I, yeah. And while I don't find that offensive, uh, I perhaps maybe British speaking or. Canadian-speaking people would. To be honest, I don't know what bollocks means. I think that it's uh, an extension of bull. Okay, yeah. Well, I've, I've been in some of those like small uh, British pubs in America, uh -huh. and I've seen that on signs, I've seen it on the back of t-shirts, I've seen it here, there, and everywhere, and I, uh -huh. I guess I assume it might be something like that, just a generic cuss word or whatever, so... Yeah, I'll see what other people say. All right. You may be onto something. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? Cindy, same thing? Yeah, same thing. It's the British version of BS. Okay, well, I guess I can see where his friends think it's funny that he has it on a license plate. Yes, definitely. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh, jeez, yeah. B-O-11-L-U-X. I remember the album, Never Mind the Bollocks, Here's the Sex Pistols. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Never Mind the BS. There we go. All right. Thanks. Thanks very much. See you. I did that right. Okay. I think we saw... Now, now we're going to have a debate of what bollocks mean. Look up bollocks. I'll take Bill's call, but look up bollocks. <laughs> yes, you were, you were talking... Yes, I, I spent four years in the Air Force Station in England, so I'm, I'm uh, uh, familiar with some of their uh, slang. Sure. You were talking, yes, about... That drug being mixed with cocaine that makes men's appendages fall off. Yes. And you said including that particular appendage. Yeah. Alex is the uh, appendage to the appendage. Remembering the World Family Radio Show. Right. Yes. Part that hangs down below the part that hangs down. It's the home. Correct. I am quite well, positive. We had a couple of women who said pretty doggone sure that it means the same as BS. No, that, that thing with bullocks. Well, it means that, too. But you remember the text that's allowed? You never mind the bullocks? Yeah. Yeah. It also, it also means BS, but it, it's also a physical term, yes. So it's interchangeable. Correct. Why isn't there a Brit out there? We need one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can can make an, I can take an accent for you, God. Not. You can cross that film block. He knows what he's talking about. Four miles. Well, that is okay, guys. Right. 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 There's a gas station in the country that has the highest gas prices of any gas station in the country. It happens to be by the airport where you would stop and get a gas station rent a car before you turned it back in. Typically, if you rent a car, 
If you allow Congress parts, Davis or Hertz or whoever, if they gas it up, it's going to cost a lot more per gallon to gas it up. And so you try to gas it up as close to the airport as you can. Well, this place has been charging an arm and a leg for their gas for a long time. I think there are two of them, but they will not post the prices, even though they've been, I guess, directed by the Congress to by the state to post the price of the gasoline. You don't know until you get to the pump, and a lot of people don't bother looking. So in uh, the air, there's a performance artist whose most well-known stunt, apparently, is jumping off a ladder in front of City Hall 366 consecutive times in 24 hours. What's your game? So he decided to be, put his performance art to work, and he became the human sign outside of the gas station. Uh, the regular, by the way, goes for five seventy nine a gallon. This is now the cost of gas down five seventy nine. The plus is five eighty nine, and the premium is five ninety nine nine. And he stood there yesterday for the entire day. Problem was, he's just trying to do the public a favor. They thought he worked for the gas station, and people were pull, pulling over, rolling down the window, and cussing him out. For daring to charge so much for the gift. He's warning you. Take point four there. miles and turn left on South Franklin Most Frank expensive Street. gas in the country, the premium golf, is just under $6 a gallon right now. We have a Brit standing by. Hey, Brian, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Doing great, thank you. So finally, the Brit called in. Uh, it, this all started with a cock and bull story. That's where it started. Yeah, and then started. Which, uh, which then became, as I think your previous guest said, a kind of derivative of that, which is... Uh, uh, well, uh, a BS story. Um, it can be a whole load of bollocks, uh, a, uh, a group of bollocks, a whole variety of uh, whatever you wish. <laughs> so it could be a body part, it could be... Uh, it's just no, a, it's general a, body con part. a general condemnation. It's a general condemnation which refers derogatively, if you like, to a body part, but it started with a, a cock and bull story, which was an old sort of cockney version of a made-up story, and it kind of evolved from that. And it's, it's pretty rude. If you were on the BBC, uh, you wouldn't be allowed to say it, so this guy find that quite amusing this morning. Yeah, it's, it's, it does vary country to country. I mean, I, I know that in, uh, there's some words you can't say here that you can say, say in Australia. Uh, as we might call the S word, that is acceptable on broadcast in Australia, yeah, uh, and yeah. other things we say here would not be acceptable there. So it's exactly. I always find it funny when um, on the Austin Powers uh, talks about, you know, uh, shagging, which is, uh, you know, again, something that was used here a lot. That was a pretty derogatory term and wouldn't be used at all, really, for, uh, you know, on, on radio. It would be a pretty serious, uh, you know, thing to say in the UK. So it, it is quite amusing. I remember a couple of years ago, Tiger Woods had a particularly rough outing, and in speaking to the press, af the press afterwards, he referred to himself as a spaz, which right. caused an uproar. Was that in the UK or? Yeah, it was, and and that is that was a terrible, terrible uh, reference to, um, to to spastic, which was a, a, just an awful thing to say. Right. And, uh, it went down very, very badly. Yeah, it did. And, um, you know, even now, three miles, you know, the bollocks can be a past kind of term, but it can be uh, expressed, you know, in aggressively in, in, you know, in certain social areas in, in the UK, and that would be considered a pretty, pretty bad thing to say. Yeah. So I can see coming back to the license plate, how that could, you know, could be offensive. And did you know what the license plate was as soon as I spelled it out? Yes. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I thought it was amusing. I was enjoying my breakfast too, and I thought, whoops, I need to go choked on my coffee, I'm thinking that's something that wouldn't be said on the BBC right now. That's funny, all right. Well, Brian, thanks for the clarification. Thank you. You bet. Take care. It's 720. WGN. You feel a real responsibility as a weather forecaster in this area to get the word out and get it out fast, the word out fast, so that we can inform folks before bad things start to happen. Tom Steeling in the Storm Center on 720 WGN. The best room in your house this summer isn't a room at all. It's your deck. From the cup of coffee when you wake to firing up the grill in the evening, your deck becomes the most lived space in your home. Make it everything you want it to be with a visit from Deck Tech. Deck Tech uses an oil-based sealer, which penetrates deep into your decks with fibers, preventing your deck from cracking and splitting. Your deck will be restored to its natural beauty, so you can start hosting summer parties and enjoying all that summer has to offer. Call Deck Tech now for your free, no hassle, Estimate. No time to meet with a representative. No problem. There's no need to be home. Deck Tech will gladly leave behind your estimate along with their informational brochure. Call now and mention this ad to receive a 55 discount. Call 1-800-956-DECK. That's 1-800-956-3.
3325 or visit RestoreYourDeck.com. On the They've got the tech to restore your deck. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're Acai Fresh, and we have too much product and too few participants for our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call me. Acai Fresh is an amazing proven breakthrough in weight loss. A one it's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight. It's got well it's natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials.